Hey everyone, Shireen here to share some um, items that I purchased at Michael's. I went ahead and uh, purchased some goodie bags for the first time. I actually went to Michael's yesterday and I put three of the goodie bags in my, um, uh, grab bags, not goodie bags, sorry. I grabbed three of the grab bags, put them in my basket, um, and then I decided I didn't want them. I had never purchased before. But then I gave them away to this other lady who I met um, at the store, Rose. Hey, Rose. But then I went back today because I thought about it. I was like, wow, I bet a lot of that stuff would have been perfect for my treasure chest for my students because I knew everyone was finding these masks um, either in the grab bags or for a penny. And I'm doing a um, circus theme in my class this year. So I was like, I'm going back and I'll grab the grab bags. Well, unfortunately for me, they only had three masks. And, um, and I only found one of the circus theme stamps. So that, in that regard, it didn't work out for me. But I did find um, quite a few other good items that I can use in my classroom or for crafting. So, um, and I just thought I'd share this because if anyone else is thinking of buying grab bags, this gives you a general idea of what's inside of them. So I have these little um, magnetic notepads. I have three of those. Those always come in handy. Like I said, I bought three bags, and the bags were $2 each. So $6 got me all of this stuff here. Now I'll just kind of pan over. So, yeah, all of that was for $6. And I'll just go through it pretty quickly without really talking about it, but just sharing so you know what's inside. So, again, three of the um, rectangular notepads, and here's a square one. And then um, this is a memo pad with pen. So I only had one of those. And these are uh, pretty good because um, I'm forever having to write um, thank you cards to parents. So I like that, you know, these are already decorated and I don't have to um, craft them out. So I'll be taking these to work. Keep them in my desk when parents, you know, send me little messages or I need to send a message to them. So anyway, I got four of those. And then I thought these would be cool for the kids' treasure boxes, but these are buttons um, with the pins on the back. So I can't give those to the kids because they'll go around poking each other or um, possibly, you know, inadvertently poke themselves. But I can alter these, you know, pull the back off and kind of use them in the same fashion as you would bottle caps. And then I found two of these. I, I don't see the other one. Oh, it's on the other side of the counter. Some bling words that say be bold. There's two of those. One is on the other side. And like I said, I did find three masks. I was wish hoping to find more masks and more of the um, animal the circus themed stamps, you know, the animals and some of the circus phrases. But that's all I found. But um, also, these are um, easel stands. I think there's six in here. See right there, the little black part of the easel. That part there. So there are six of those on there, or in here. And um, this was a good find. I found these um, illustration boards. They were originally $2, marked to $0.48, cents, but in the grab bags. And there are 42 sheets in here. This is vellum. I think it is. I'm sorry, let me see. Yeah, lightweight vellum. So there were three of those in there, I think. Let me see. One or oh, two, sorry. Two of those and then one that was made of canvas paper. And then I also got the coordinating um, envelopes to go with them. So I was really excited about those. That was probably the best deal in the bags, at least in my view. Okay. Then I got two of these little metal wall hangings. This one is a rose. And this one is a teapot. If you can see that through all the writing. There were just this one, um, some St. Patrick's Day stickers. Uh, cupcake. I was like, what in the world am I going to do with cupcake? Um cups like some baking cups but the kids can use these for sorts when they have to sort their colors and shapes or um i'll figure out something <laughs> and of course neo and i can always bake with them as well i found two of these i was hoping to find more of these um little uh, notepads because you can alter the covers and i like to make things for the teachers at the beginning of the school year so i was hoping to find quite a few of these in the bags and then change the covers, personalize them for each of the teachers on my team. Which there will be 12 first grade teachers this year. So that would be a lot of work. But found two of those. And then these little, I don't know what these are. These are bracelet. I guess like bracelet charms. I don't know. 
but um, there's an S and an E. Well, my name's Shireen. Don't know what to do with the E. Love these little um, chalkboard clips. And actually, I got them in um, three colors. So those have been fun to put in the classroom, too. Too bad I didn't have yellow because I have four tables for my students. Each table six, seats six students. And I color code everything with these three colors as well as yellow. Primary colors. Love these three by three note cards. So these would be perfect for parents as well. There's 12 in here. Actually, I think it's six cards and six, uh, no, 12 cards and 12 envelopes. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it's a butterfly one, it's a cake, and a flower. Oh, and here's yet an another one. That one's pretty. They're all cute. So that was there. Um, um, a letter opener. Graduation party poppers. You okay. I don't know what to do with that. And then um, switch plates, which would be fun to alter. Except I have rockers. I don't have these kind of pl uh, switch plates in my house. But I can always alter this and turn it into something else. Particularly because it already has the holes in it too. I can make it a hanging sign of, of some sort. At least those two I can. Don't know what I would do with the owl. <laughs> Okay, and then the remaining items um, will be perfect for my, sorry guys, I have to swing around. These will be perfect for my student treasure box. I always have little goodies for the kids. So I have these um, mission, what is this, mission control little um, magic pads. Kind of like the magic doodle, but they're pretty thin. So I have three of those for the treasure box for the children. Also three of these little twist erasers. The kids are going to love these. I really wish they had more of those in there. They love that kind of stuff. And then just some stickers for them as well. The boys will love those. As well as these top secret ones. These moving stickers. And then this one here. And then I found one little, there was one little memo pad in there. The girls are like that. A lipstick holder. I don't wear a lipstick. I wear lip gloss. But I don't know. I can alter that. Turn it to something else. And then these little pins with the banners on them that says indulge. And there was two of those in there. Here's that other Be Bold. And then finally, a, wel a welcome hanging sign. So those are all the items in the three grab bags that I picked up. So it just gives you a general idea of what's inside them in case you were considering purchasing them. Um, yeah. So those are my first time buying grab bags. And I think this is worth $6 for sure. Got a lot of things for my students. And a few things for myself. And there's some other things. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> probably donate them to another teacher. I'm sure she'll, oh, the art teacher, the art teacher. Oh, she will probably love all these um, baking cups for paints. You know, when the kids do a paint, I bet she can put that to good use. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. So have a great day. Blessings.